Hi, in this video, I am going to cover an interesting concept called fall through attributes. Fall through attributes come into picture when there is a parent component and a child component. And if at all, you define an attribute, an element attribute in the parent component, and then there is also a element attribute in the child component, which one takes precedence is what it's all about. So I'm going to take an example here wherein I got my blog icon, which is my child component of profile details. This blog icon has an image element and there also I have defined the alt attribute. So if I go to my icon blog, so I have alt defined here and there is alt defined at this level also. So most of the times we would want the one that's defined as at the first level to take precedence but if it is defined in the parent if i go to the browser i can see that the one that is specified in the parent takes effect so in order to overcome this there is an option that you can specify in the child component so i will do that at this point so what i have to do is i have to say script setup script now there is a macro called define options and within this i can specify inherit a t t r s camel case and say false so when you do this the child alt will take effect because the parent is totally cut off from inheritance. So let's see that in action. Yeah, so now I can see my blog instead of showing what is there in the parent for this particular element. So this, uh, this is one of the scenarios where you can use define options and cut down inheritance. But this is useful for other cases where there is a class defined and uh, other scenarios as per documentation but i have taken only one attribute in this case and explain thanks for watching bye